Ambia tubwana asante. Kwa kutupa shule nzuri kama hii. Kwa kutupa walimu wazuri kama hawa. Ebu ambia tu bwana asante. Asante Yesu. 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 Nina pendani kwa botu Ana Ha Nini wa mkosha kwa sani Sinjini ni watu watao Sinaona lami imepita hapa Sinjini ni watu wa kakamega county Sinjini mwanaelewa sana Nini mko watu wa head quarters kwa hivyo nyinyi si washamba kama sisi wenye tumetoka risa. Haleluya. Ninapendani kwa budu Bwana. Ah. Siku zote ni kwa budu Bwana. Ah. Ninapendani kwa budu Siku zote ni kwa butu Wana Ni kutuwe Ni kuwa butu Ni kutuwe Ni kutuwe Ni kwa butu Ni kwa butu Ni kutuwe Nikwa budu, nina penda ni kwa budu, wana. Siku zote ni kwa budu, tu si mame, tu kwa kati kwa budu. Nina penda, nina penda ni kwa budu, wana.
need our brother Odinga to keep telling us to lift our hands, to keep telling us Ebu Mwabudu Mungu, sindiyo? So unajua Mungu ni nani? Na unajua yeye ni nani kwa maisha yako? So you don't need anyone to tell you how to worship your God. Hallelujah. Sasa nataka nione mtu ambaye anafahamu Mungu wake. Just do whatever you feel you're supposed to do. I won't tell you atinua mikono ama fanya nini. Amen. Simesema mnamfahamu. Na wamesema ya kwamba anahitaji ana ana anastahili kikubwa zaidi kupita vyote. Sawa, nataka nione. Kabla tuanze kuimba, nataka nione ibada ambayo utampatia Mungu. Tafadhali, assume God is here and I know God is here because he's saying in his word wherever two or three are gathered in his name there he is in their presence amen, amen. so i believe god is in our midst hallelujah amen. so nataka umpatie mungu ibada ambayo inastahili ninangoja hallelujah come on before we start singing just do whatever you can do to god Just release yourself. Jiachilie tu. Sema kitu. Kama ni kuinua mikono inua. Hata kama utapiga magoti piga. Amen. Nangoja kuwasikia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your voices. Lift your hands. If you can kneel, kneel. If you can lie down. It is okay. No one is limiting you to, to do what you want to do to God. There's none like you, King of Kings. We worship you.
wakati nimesema Mika joyful noise unto the Lord Beth Alif <laughs> You can make a joyful noise unto the Lord and everything disturbing you in life will fall down for your sake. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want us to do it once again. I count up to three and then we make a joyful noise. We, we jump. Didio? Tunaruka ju, tunapiga shangu, nabigelegele, makofi, joyful noise unto our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Alafu tukichama hiza kupiga shangwa na vigelegen tunaendelea kupiga makofi tukidance. Zindio? Amen. Aya one. Wangapi oko tayari? Okay, come on. One. One. Two. Two. Two and a half. Okay, three. Come on, somebody. Thank you. 
ukiangalia Rauka Citizen TV utaona
unachukua zote. Oh, bora position ya sasa. Yeah. No, no, I can combine. You can combine. Yeah. Sam. Gele, gele, payesu. Makofi mazuri. E uni nyonyo zie maji. Uni nyonyo zie maji.
for the time. Let us pray. Heaven and everlasting Father, we count your blessings every day because you are always good to us. Thank you for getting your masses to this place. Thank you for the warm welcome. We commit the entire event, my Father, before you. Thank you for Archbishop, Bishop, and the manual of this school. And Lord, as we listen from you, my Father, may your voice be heard louder as we sing, my Father. Take over this session, my Father, because you are God. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen. I clap to Jesus. And we clap for Jesus. Let us take our seats. Your dress. Please, please, can we settle down? Please, can we settle down? Your grace, the Archbishop of Kenya. Your Lordship, the Bishop of the Diocese of Maseno North. The principal of this of Ishisango Girls Secondary School. The head teacher of Ishisango Primary School. Parents and teachers and students. Good afternoon. We want to thank the Lord for bringing us to this day and especially for this time. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you for welcoming us so well. I also want to take this opportunity to welcome the Archbishop of Kenya and our Bishop in this place. Feel welcome. We will be very brief because of time. And uh, I want to request that uh, I do a brief introduction. I just want to recognize the following people. The, 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 school, the, the primary school teaching staff, can they stand? The primary school? The primary school? Just wave from wherever you are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Maybe I'll give a brief, where's the head teacher? Please just uh, uh, greetings and welcoming of the Archbishop. Thank you. Uh, our guest of honor today, the Archbishop, the SK Church, Kenya. Uh, all the bishops accompanying our guest of honor, uh, the SK, SK Church uh, in the hall. Wanafunzi, uh, candidates this year. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Father, we, as a Sango community, we feel highly privileged uh, for, your, for you to have time on your tight schedule to come and physically see us and in particular pray for our candidates. Father, we are very grateful, we are very happy, and we feel, we feel very, very blessed. For you, for your presence. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Can we clap for him? I want to take this opportunity now to welcome the, the, the principal of Shisango Girls Second School to come and say something and welcome the Archbishop. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you are Grace, the Archbishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya. Our right uh, Reverend Bishop, all the clergy, invited guests, board of management members present, parents, association members present, teachers, and teaching staff, students, and pupils. Praise God. Amen. God is good. All the time. Thank you. My name is Mrs. Biru Doris, the principal. Your Grace, the Archbishop, you are warmly. Sorry. You are warmly welcome to our school. We are humbled with your visitation this afternoon. Uh, your Grace, SEK, St. Luke Chisango Girls, is uh, a school that started in 2012 from the Mother Church, SEK, uh, from the 
NCK uh, Sango Private School. We are a humble institution with an enrollment of 149 girls, uh, 10 teachers, and 7 uh, non-teaching staff. This far, the Lord has brought us. Our God is Ebenezer. Praise God. Amen. This year, the year 2021, we have a candidate of 35 who will sit for the cases is a, a, a examination in March. Our school, we last year, 2020, was 3.03. We are trusting God and working hard to double these results. Amen. We have, uh, as a school, we pray that the Lord's favor may reign so that we improve in the following areas, academic performance, enrollment, and infrastructure development. Your grace, your coming to this school is God sent. Amen? Amen. We believe as you pray for the candidates of uh, Chisango Girls and the candidates of Chisango Primary School, a new thing is going to happen. Amen. 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 Just like Elijah prayed in First Kings chapter 18, and the three-year drought ended, and it started to rain. So shall it rain in Shisango. Amen. Amen. The drought of Shisango is ending today. Amen. Because Elijah is out found famine praying. Amen. Amen. We want to really appreciate you for planting trees in our school. And we believe as the trees shall grow, so shall it be for us. Amen? Amen. Last but not least, in the interest of time, our Archbishop, kindly allow me to allow NCK St. Luke Chisango girls to appreciate you are coming to this school. This is a rare opportunity. Girls, welcome. welcome. That is our outgoing president, Jacqueline Bulishe, and the incoming student president, Kea Morida. Love for them as they appreciate the Can we put our hands together for the principal? Can I request the teachers, the teaching staff of Sango Girls to stand up and wave? Sango Girls, teaching staff. Asante, thank you so much. God bless you. The choir can give us one stanza. Welcome and assess and vision.
baba sportu mkuu katika la kuendelea wachungaji ambao tumekusanyika hapa siku ya leo uh, members wa community hii kanisa letu wanafunzi wetu wapendwa na wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe tumefurahi kuwa hapa na askofu mkuu nyote mnafahamu ya kwamba kwa program yetu haikutakana tupitie hapa itakana form 4 students wakuje St Andrews Mbale ili tuombe pamoja na tuombe pamoja nanyi lakini principal prevailed upon me that his grace must step on this ground so we know by us coming here is going to be a turning point for this institution that God is going to bless this school and any person who attends this school will leave this place better than she came in. Amen. And so, Ningepeda tu kwa mutu, muda mfupi mwa nisimamishe wa chungaji wa kunge mkono. Asante wa chungaji, Asante wa chungaji, Asante wa chungaji, Asante wa chungaji, Evangelist, Evangelist, Asante, na liri das wote hapo, Parish Council members wako, kwa hii parish ya sisango, kama kuna parish council members, oh asante sana, board members wa shule hii ya sisango, asante sana board members, uh, synod members wako wapi, hebu synod member kuja huku, Your Grace, the Archbishop of Kenya, Dr. Onesa Pitt, our Bishop, our Maseno North Diocese, Charles, Asilutwa, all the clergy present, the principal and all the teachers present, all members, choir, students, and pupils, and the community. Abarienu. Okay, on behalf of the church, the parish synod, I'm Catherine Aura. I wear three hats here. I'm a synod member. Two, I'm the vice chair, board of management here, and a staunch member of SEK Shisango Parish. And therefore, uh, on behalf of all those various categories I represent, I want to warmly welcome our father, to this ground. We feel so much blessed. We know today the old is gone and the new has come. Thank you so much for your good news. Kitu ambacho nitawauliza hii compound kuanzia kwa kanisa huko paka hiyo kora naona ni kubwa zaidi. Na kwa msimu kama ulimwengu kwa jumla wa kuhakikisha kwamba tumepanda miti mingi uwezekanavyo so itakuwa vizuri kama ni mkristo wa Shisango Parish uhakikishe kwa hiyo komba ndio na mti wako umepanda muti na uchunge vizuri ukoe kama wewe ni mzazi wa Shisango Girls hakikisha umeuliza ume, ume space upande muti hapa na pia kwa goma lako na primary hivyo hivyo hiyo tutasaidia uh, kuhakikisha kwamba tunashughulikia ma, 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 maafa ya, kuwa, ya kuleta ya, mambo ya kuleta maafa katika ulimwengu Bwana Yesu asifiwe nitukue fursa hii kwa unyenyekevu kumkaribisha askofu mkuu ili atusalimu na ombe watoto wetu basi hali tunasimama tutaomba alafu tutaketi baadaye God we thank you so much for this day and for this moment you have given us and opportunity to celebrate you to thank you to worship and adore you we thank you Lord for this school
for the parish that uh, saw the initiation of the school and the beginning uh, parts of it, uh, even the primary school. And the Lord, they continue to display uh, the engagement of your church as a mission center and a mission uh, to the community around here. We want to thank you that we are gathered here to listen from you, for you to bless us and to bless our candidates particularly and uh, the students and people of uh, the schools around us. So Lord, may your Holy Spirit minister to us your word of encouragement. Encourage our souls and our hearts that Lord we worship you every day of our lives. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Please let us be seated. My Lord Bishop, the Bishop of uh, the Diocese of Maseno North, Bishop Charles, clergy present, uh, the principals of the schools around us, members of the various boards, PCC members, our choirs, and our students. I take this opportunity to greet all of us in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, my name is Jackson Olesabit. The Lord Jesus is my Savior. I thank Him for uh, every day of my life because uh, He is in charge and I've surrendered to His will in all that I do. I thank God for the opportunity the Bishop has given me to come and join Him in the ministry he's doing in the Diocese of Maseno North. And the part of the ministry is uh, also overseeing uh, the schools that the church uh, has started and sponsors, some of which also the church runs and manages. And we want to thank God because uh, our ministry is a wholesome ministry. Amen. Amen. Touching the total person, the spirit, the body, and the mind all together. And that's why we are here. We are here to encourage you and to tell you uh, the Lord is with you and he has a purpose for each one of you, especially our learners. I look at you, I see the future of Kenya. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I see future engineers, I see future doctors, Amen. I see future pilots, Amen. I see future scientists Amen. who are going to give solutions to the problems affecting the world. I see future leaders in the community, Amen. leaders in the church, Amen. and uh, we see hope. Amen. Amen. I see future business leaders who are going to manage big businesses and companies. Amen. Are you going to be there? Yes. Yes, but uh, preparation time is now. You can't just arrive, you have to get prepared. Are you ready? Yes. Is that why you're in school? Yes. So you have a vision? Yes. You know what you want to become? Yes. Somebody with a vision and know what they want to become, will they ban their school? No. Will they harm others? No. Will they destroy property? No. Why? They, they have a purpose. They know what they want, isn't it? Yes. And they have a vision, they know where they want to go. Yes. And they can only do things that will enable them to go to that space and grow into that space. So I want you to be girls and boys of high discipline, and the Lord will establish you and make you the hope. The nation, the countries of the world, you know, all of us are waiting for you. We are waiting for your moment. The current teachers, your parents, the current board are all there to serve you to become. They are aiding you to become so that when you take over, then uh, we shall be in safe hands. When you take over, uh, you'll be our caregivers. When you take over, you'll be our servants. But today we are serving you. So even the Archbishop have come all the way from Nairobi to come and serve you. Can you imagine that? Yes. As I'm you, sir. Let me read Paul's, uh, Peter's words in his first letter, chapter 1, verse 13. And this is what Paul says, and I want to relate with what I said already. This is preparation time. The Bible says, Therefore prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring to you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not conform to the desires that are 
that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct, for it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Amen. Yeah, these are great words from Peter. Uh, though to the church, and the young church, which has been scattered and dispersed because of persecution, and he wanted to encourage them, but also relevant to us, and particularly us who are learning. And uh, the first call in this verse 13 is, prepare your minds for action. Every day you go to class, you are required to prepare your mind to action, isn't it? Yes. Because when you go and sit and learn, you are engaging your mind. It has to be prepared for action. For you to listen, for you to open up that mind to understand, for you to ask questions at the right questions when you have not understood, for your mind to, to, to yearn to know more, for your mind to be curious and a creative and attentive mind, a curious and attentive mind become creative. Are you getting me? Yes. Yeah, when your mind is attentive to new things that you are learning, then you become curious to want to know more. It leads you into creativity and innovation. You become uh, one who can be able to use the mind to take you places. But for you to be able to do that, to prepare your mind for action, it must be accompanied, accompanied by what is called self-discipline. Did you hear that? Discipline yourselves. Without discipline, you will not make it, let me tell you. If you are not disciplined on the times to work hard, to do your personal studies, when to go to the field and play, when to uh, uh, read that subject, even in the absence of the teacher, if you're not disciplined enough to follow the instruction of the teacher and that of your parents, and you live a loose life, then you get lost uh, early in age. But a disciplined person will go places, will grow into spaces they have never grown before. So discipline yourselves. Set all your hope in the grace of God. Are you hopeful? Yes. You have hope. So you are marching with hope. Yeah, hope is pulling us into the future. Hope is taking and believing these that are not yet seen, as if they are already here. So if you have true hope, you'll begin to imagine the kind of performance you're going to get after this school, after primary school. You begin to trust in yourself and trust in your teachers and tell yourself, this is going to be my grade. And you march towards that grade with hope. And if you do that, you'll be able to succeed. You can get that or even beyond that which you have set your mind to. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you were formerly had in ignorance. Which are some of those desires? You know, there could be many, many wrong desires. Peer pressure, peer groups, you know, people introducing you things that are not going to benefit you. And uh, probably you may have, uh, you know, entertained them in, in your mind, entertained them, or even tried out some of the uh, things that are going to destroy you. And the Bible is saying, stop, because it no longer defines who you are. Uh, uh, do not conform to those desires anymore. You must change. You must completely make an about turn and turn towards Jesus Christ and be a person of hope. When we do that, I will not want to say the sky is the limit. You grow into a space called limitless. You will understand things. You will know things. You will grow into greater knowledge and you can be able to understand bigger things. But for now, for you to double the mark as the principal said, you must prepare your minds for action. Amen? Amen. Every day. And every day counts. Don't think when you're in Form 1, Form 4 is very far away. Don't think when you're in Class 6 or 7, and now even with CBC, exams are coming early uh, in Grade 5, don't think that there is any time to be wasted. For every moment is precious, every moment must be preparation time moment for you to become a great person. When you do that and follow instructions of your teachers, of uh, your parents, of your pastor, of uh, your local church minister, of uh, the person around you, of your friends, when you all follow uh, the, the guidelines and they obey and become obedient, we will go to greater heights. 
ours is to wish you well in the forthcoming exam. Uh, wish you success. And I take this opportunity in advance to wish everyone of you success. So the Lord will grant you the wishes of your hearts. Now we will pray for the class 8 and the form 4s uh, who are here. Uh, and even those who may not be here. We will pray for them. So I will ask all the candidates, class 8, form 4, even the CPC uh, class that are going to class sit five. for their na first uh, exam, let them also come. So, so class 5, class 8, form 4, uh, that's, that's my point. basi tuamini na kuomba eh mwenyezi Mungu tukushukuru sana sana alasiri ya leo na masaha ya mchana siku hii kwa wema wako na pendo lako asante kwa sababu ulituleta hapa ukiwa na sababu na sababu kuu ni kuja kutia moyo watoto wetu hawa wapendwa wetu ili Mungu anapojiandaa na kujitayarisha kwa mitiani ambayo iko mbele yao la grade 5, la class 8, la form 4, mungu uwese kuwa tayarisha. Tunaweka kila mmoja mkononi mwako, unawajua kwa majina. Sasa mungu muda huwa liyo naya kujianda na kujitayarisha, mungu angazia maisha yao. Wape afya ya kila siku. Kwa mba hakuna hata mmoja atakonjeka. Hakuna hata atakai sikia habari mbaya kwa familia yao ili Mungu waweze kuingia katika muda wa mtiani wakiwa na amani moyoni wakiwa na shukurani e Mungu sasa inapofika wakati huo e Mungu tuomba uondoe roho ya hofu uondolee kila hofu na kila matisho kwa sababu Mungu utainua wawe na confidence ya kutosha ili wanapofungua makaratasi hayo Mungu uwape maarifa mema ya kusoma lugha hiyo na kuelewa kila swali ili wanapoandika eh, majibu ya ma, eh, mitiani haya ya, ya maswali haya yeah. Mungu aweze kuandika yaliyo sahihi yeah. wakumbushe yale yote ambayo wanajifunza sasa yeah. ili wamejifunza kwa madarasa iliyopita yeah. na ili ambayo Mungu watakuja kuulizwa maswali juu yake yeah. sasa uwafanye kila mmoja awe ni mtoto wenye kufaulu yeah. awe ni mwenye kupita mtiani huo yeah. na Mungu waelekeze kwenye mashule bora yeah. wanaoenda shule ya sekondari uwapeleke kwenye mashule bora yeah. Mungu tunaomba ya kwamba uwatayarishe kwa maisha mema na mazuri iliyo mbele. Yes. Walio form 4 e Mungu waelekeze kwenye e, chuo bora. Yes. Even the Lord uh, as they, they cluster their subjects. Yes. Enable them to cluster in a way they are going to find the right courses. Yes. The courses of their choices. Yes. Their career path oh yes. God. Make, make it clear in their minds. Yes. Assist them on a daily basis. Yes. Enable them. Yes. Empower them oh God. Yes. May they be the best of friends with their teachers. Yes. And as they prepare them, Lord, make uh, the time uh, that they have now a precious time, a moment like no other, a moment of friendship that they will grow together into your space. Yes. Now we pray that you'll make them successful. And when we hear high performance and good grades, yes. we shall be here again, Lord, to celebrate you, yes. to thank you, yes. to worship and to adore you. Yes. For this is our prayer, trusting yes. and believing. In Jesus Christ, our Amen. Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 sana. Mungu wabariki, mungu wabariki. Sasa kwa sababu tunaelekea kutamatisha na omba. Wote ambao meketi tusimame tupate baraka ya kumalisa ibada yetu. Na sasa Kristo alie nuru na mwangaza yetu. Angase njia ya kila moja wetu na kutawanya giza. Giza ya mawaso, giza ya kutojua. Gisa ya mmoye mioyo enye 
imetiwa gisa na dhambi kutumulikia na kutusamea makosa yetu naso baraka yake Mungu mwenyezi baba mwana na roho mtakatifu iwe nasi sasa na hata milele amen asanteni sana Mungu awabariki awape amani na furaha ya kila siku mmefurahi hata mimi nimefurahi kuona nyinyi ni watoto wazuri Mungu atawapeleka mbali amen Oh, oh, oh.